Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. It is 9.54 Wednesday, the 18th of November, which is today. <laughs> um, and <sighs> normally I feel like this as soon as December hits, but the December craziness of my job has basically started at the start of November. So I'm constantly feeling like I'm catching my breath. I'm exhausted today because <laughs> Liam is a civil engineer and he had to do, um, he's been having to do a couple of night shifts and I don't sleep that well when he's on night shift. It's so bright. So yeah, I'm quite tired. It's been a bit of an interesting start to the week. Um, I was actually supposed to have my Rotorua vlog with GoPro up tonight, but the footage that I had been working with on Friday um, is on my hard drive that decided to fail me. So that is currently with the magical hard drive wizards. Um, they're currently analyzing it. They said that would take a few days. Then they're gonna let me know if they can fix it, give me a quote, and that's gonna take a few days. <laughs> and I'm just super tired, but I thought I would just vlog today, take you along with me. It might be a shorter vlog, um, but at least we can catch up. And I've got a video up for you guys. Um, today so i'm currently in the remuera new world car park because i'm about to go and meet my friend laura um who owns wild pilates she's invited me into the new studio to check it out um take some cool photos on the reformer i love sharing pilates content and yeah have a catch up because we haven't really had a catch up in a while so i oh i need to go i've got two minutes until i'm meant to be there back home showered still feeling exhausted <laughs> um so yeah this is gonna be i guess kind of just a quick sharing type of vlog i'm just gonna show you a whole bunch of stuff i'm gonna show you some new in summer pieces i have acquired some of them i purchased some of them have been gifted i want to show you guys um the supplements that i've been taking like everything then i'm gonna give you a skin update later on um and then get this vlog up for you guys tonight. So this is literally me today on Wednesday, if you're gonna watch this tonight. Um, so yes, new summer clothes. Um, I'm a big fan of like just basics, simple pieces that are comfortable. Um, I obviously work from home, so I like things that are comfortable enough to wear around the house. So I'm a big fan of the drawstring, like high-waisted, cotton or linen shorts so one of the first things that i um bought myself recently i actually don't know if i've shared this on the last vlog something's making me think i did but i'm just going to show you again um this is a linen kind of popover oh, i haven't really got this i haven't got this angle right hang on a second um it's basically just like a pullover linen t-shirt in this amazing um khaki color has the most amazing like open collar 
situation, which I love because you guys know how much I like to layer necklaces and kind of have them on show. Super comfortable, like absolutely perfect working from home attire. Yeah, it's just breezy, it's comfortable. I've just got some black Levi shorts on. Um, we can just like tuck it in, it's comfortable. Uh, I can wear this at home very comfortably, but then also run out the door and still feel like I'm wearing a really, really nice, chic summer outfit. So yeah, I feel like you can see the color a little bit better like that. Next up, also from Country Road, because they just do the best, like very basic linen and cotton pieces. Um, I got some white shorts. I had a pair of white denim shorts that were high-waisted and slightly longer in the leg. And I had them for years. I had them for like three years, absolutely thrashed them. Um, they went a little bit gross, but I got a good three years out of them, which was amazing. And I just never was able to find the right style of like white denim short. But then I found these, which are um, kind of just like a really nice soft cotton. And they are that kind of high-waisted, sort of like gym short style, longer in the leg and wide. And I just find that really, really flattering. Just white with a sort of drawstring um, around the waist. They have little pockets. I am gonna try them on and show you what they look like. I love them. Very um, P short vibes. Uh, but yeah, I just like that they're longer. I always find with shorts, um, if they are slightly longer and wider, they make this area of your leg look just a little bit more I don't know, flattering. And how tan do the white shorts make me look, which I also love. Um, but yeah, but yeah, that is what they look like from Country Road. Um, and then obviously these two look really good together. They are like the perfect working from home comfy pieces. But yeah, I also um, am a big fan of these shorts because they are cotton rather than linen. And I do find with all of the, uh, all of the linen shorts, um, even if you iron them, if you're sitting down a lot, sorry, I just realized how messy my bed looked down here in this area. Just ignore that. Yeah, you get these annoying creases along here, which uh, cotton doesn't really do the same way. So, like, tuck them in. They look really cute with the drawstring. I just feel like white shorts are a nice little um, piece to have in your wardrobe that will go with pretty much everything. I got a new singlet. It's from a brand called Jack and Jack from uh, Father Rabbit Select. Bought this myself, even though um, Father Rabbit have kindly gifted me some stuff over the last few weeks. But um, this I actually bought myself because I just wanted another cotton tank top that wasn't going to, I don't know, hold on to as much fluff as my other Marl one does. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I got it in the extra small, but I'll show you what it looks like on. It's also great because I feel like you don't have to wear a bra. It's got this really lovely flattering shape to it which I'm a big fan of so this is the singlet um, it's just a plain black singlet um, but I just I like the shape of it I'm kind of fussy with tank tops I'm kind of broad from here to here I know I'm a small human but in terms of like my proportions with my body I'm actually quite broad like if you looked at my back you'd be like wow quite broad up the top <laughs> I'm kind of like an upside down triangle I just find that this shape um is really really flattering on me and yeah this is just a super cute little comfy outfit chuck on some sandals right out the door that is why i love summer clothing because it's just easy and comfortable and yeah i'm not wearing any bra that is the perk of having small what do they call them fashion tits <laughs> so disclaimer i have a media discount with koto um, so I do get a bit of a discount, but other than that, I did spend some of my own money on this amazing, amazing lid cotton knit vest. I've been wanting a vest for a while. This is an oversized, so this is the more, this is the more kind of fitted look. I also love ribbed fabric. I just think it's so nice. And obviously Koto is such an amazing, sustainable, ethical New Zealand brand. So extra points there. So this is how we are looking really enjoy a vest it's quite different for me i've never really um experimented with them before i feel like this color is washing me out a bit so i need to do some fake tan and it's just something different to wear this summer it's like not a singlet it's not a t-shirt something else entirely and this outfit i adore how cute is that so another top that i got and this was gifted 
from um, Father Rabbit. This is the classic spaghetti strap black cami, which I was completely missing in my wardrobe, and I'm obsessed with it. It's from a brand called Alka Collective, and yeah, it's 100% silk, absolutely gorgeous. I'll pop it on to show you guys now. How flattering is this? And just ultimate jeans and a nice top. Top. <laughs> this is gonna be a go-to of mine for like evenings out. I'm not the most dressy person, like I would much prefer wearing something like this with some denim and then some heels. Uh, that's about as dressy as I usually like to get. I do love a dress, but it's gotta be, I don't know, nothing too fancy. It kind of goes quite low down the back um, with the thin spaghetti strap. It's really, really flattering. And it's just, ah, oh, it's just one of those tops I feel really good in. I've actually got the size 10 because the size 6 was too small for me. Um, and then the and then the size 8 was out of stock. But I'm normally like a 6 or an 8, but this is a size 10. And I feel like it fits really nicely. I also kind of like that it's a little bit loose around here. And just tuck it into your jeans or, what, or however you like to wear a silk cami. Um, but yeah, big fan of this. This was definitely one of those holes in my wardrobe that needed filling for this summer. And then probably my favourite new in piece. Um is this amazing dress from Koto. It's so cute, it's navy, and it's like a proper little like baby doll dress, but with the right sunglasses, handbag, and shoes, it's so, so cute. Okay, so this is the cutest dress I think I've ever worn in my life. Um, can we just appreciate the shape of this? It's so cute. It reminds me of like a primary school uniform, but in the absolute best way like high fashion way i can't stand back enough um to show you the whole dress but it sort of just goes down to like the top of my ankles um but i love it jewelry um my other little um let me just quickly style it because i feel like with the right things this is gonna look amazing right i've got my um mew mew cat eye sunnies on and then my oriton bag and i just feel so cute and chic at the same time. So now I just need a really lovely summery long lunch to wear this out to. Um, and I will be very, very happy. Oh, and yeah, it's got pockets. That's the best part. It has pockets. How adorable. I can't get over it. I love it so much and I want it in every single color. Right, now I want to share every single supplement I've been taking because I've been feeling like my digestion, my skin is looking better. Overall, I feel really well. And the problem is that I kind of started taking everything all at once. So I don't know, I don't know specifically what is making me feel so great like within my body. Separate to exhaustion. I'm I'm exhausted because I barely slept last night and like and the night before and probably won't sleep that well tonight either. I am just finding everything has been good. Like I've been really regular. My skin's looking amazing and super glowy without me using much, which I'll talk about a little bit later. I'm hardly using any skincare at the moment, which is crazy, I know. But yeah, so you guys all know I use Dose and Co collagen. I've been I've been taking collagen for about six months. This stuff just keeps my skin smooth all over my body without needing to wear a ton of moisturizer. <laughs> it's quite remarkable. It just makes everyone kind of experiences different um, results with collagen, but that's what I have found. I've also found it's made my nails and my um, hair grow like crazy, which actually isn't ideal because I have short hair and I like to keep it short. But anyhow, I also like it because collagen is also good for your gut and um just like your bone strength i had a tailbone injury a couple of months ago um and i'm quite convinced that this is definitely helping to heal it so yeah also I do pilates where my joints are kind of like whoa what are you doing and um collagen supports joint pain and my parents take it as well and they also find that it's really helpful for their joint pain then um maybe we'll do it in the order of when i take everything so first thing in the morning i take my prebiotic i don't know heaps about nutrition but i know that your microbiome is really important to take care of um so this basically takes care of that but i feel like my digestion throughout the day like i haven't been bloated i've been regular 
um i think that taking all like my pre and probiotics has been really really helping so yeah this is just kind of like a drink it has got 50 blended fruit vegetable and botanical powders to help nourish the microbiome i just do like a tablespoon of that and a glass of water first thing in the morning then i take this stuff um this 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 and this, and I'll tell you what else, is all from um, Thea, an online store called Thea. I'll link them below. They're a New Zealand supplement store, and you guys should support them. Um, they're kind of like a small business. I prefer to get my supplements from a small business rather than like the big chain pharmacies. Um, so yeah, I'll link them below, and you can check them out. I've also got a discount code for 20% off. I'll leave that below as well. This is a supplement I had never heard of before. It's called Gaia Herbs Vitex Berry Single Herb Extract. And I was given this to sort of help with my um, hormones being a little bit all over the place, especially around my period. I've been finding that my period symptoms have just been so bad lately. I am on the pill, um, but just like chronic neck pain only when I've got my period. And apparently that's all to do with your hormones. It's two capsules a day. And when you read about it online, it's supposed to be uh, just amazing for helping to naturally um, balance out all of your hormones so that you're feeling happy and normal, especially during that time of the month. So I take two of, the, so I take two of those in the morning. And then I take my probiotic, which is just ultimate for gut health. I've always had a dodgy gut. Like I've always had a dodgy digestive system. So it's really important for me to be taking all of these. And I don't really eat a lot of yogurt or anything like that. So I definitely need to supplement my probiotics. I take that. Um, lately I actually have been quite tired and I was severely anemic when I was 18, which is a fun fact. Um, I really struggled through my last year of high school. Remarkably, I did really well. I'm pretty sure I got, you won't know what this means if you were, um, not based in New Zealand, but I got like, I think for year 13, I got merit endorsement overall for NCEA, which is not bad for some, for a very sleepy teenage girl. Um, so I used to have to get iron jabs into the side of my ass, which was not very fun, but I could kind of start feeling, but recently I've been feeling the similar symptoms I had, like I'd have a full night's sleep, like eight hours and wake up exhausted. And that's what was happening to me when I was like severely low in iron. So I started taking Ferrograd C, um, and they put vitamin C in here to help you absorb the iron. I've only taken four of them so far. So I'm yet to see if it makes a difference. I need to get some proper sleep first before I can actually tell if it's working. But yeah, if you find yourself eternally exhausted, no matter how much you sleep, it's prob probably worth going to the doctor and having a blood test and seeing where your iron levels are at. Because it's quite important. <laughs> then I take fish oil, which is so good for your skin. I take two of these. It's really important to get your healthy oils into your body. I also find that this keeps my skin hydrated. Like my face skin has been really, really balanced at the moment. I was quite oily a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago and I went and bought this and it's helped so, so much. I've got this big one. It's gonna last me forever. I take two a day. It benefits heart, brain, joint function, as well as overall health. Omegas are just so good for you. And I feel like it's something that I'll probably supplement forever. I've actually been eating quite a lot of fish lately. You know when it's summer and you have family members that go fishing and bring home snapper and you have leftovers for days. Um, but I still make sure I take my fish oil. Then from me today, who I've worked with quite a lot this year, I still take my Woman's Daily, um, which just has like everything in it all the vitamins, all the things to keep you feeling good. Um, and then I also have been recently taking the Be Calm because I have not been feeling calm. Work has been so full on. And this is turmeric, lemon balm and magnesium in it. I've also had very sore muscles lately. So I do try and get a fair bit of magnesium in every single day. Um, so I have that. And then in the evenings, um, I actually was finding that magnesium tablets weren't really doing anything anymore. It's almost like maybe I just got too used to them. So I was also given this from Thea. Is it Thea or Thera? Gosh, I'm not actually sure. It's Thea or Thera. I'll link it below. Um, but they also sent me this natural vitality, calm, calmful gut. It says mixed berry flavor. To me, it tastes like sour lollies, which I'm obsessed with. So I have this in the evening, about an hour before I want to go to sleep. It's got probiotics and enzymes in it, which is also amazing for your gut. So you can see the trend is all about gut health. Um, because everything, because so many health issues all 
kind of go back to the gut and how healthy it is especially your skin which obviously I care about a lot this has a heap of magnesium in it and I actually find my entire body feels sleepy after I take this it's amazing after taking magnesium tablets for so long and then using this this has just been so much better for me like I have a racing mind I get sore muscles I'm such a like person um hello I wonder if you're sick of um <laughs> just looking at the supplements um I'm such a I'm one of those people that just holds tension everywhere like I grind my teeth in my sleep I get the sorest jaw but I just get like unusually um sore muscles all the time and I'm an overthinker I'm self-employed and run my own creative business so you can imagine how active my brain is and just like the nature of social media this is going to go live after work hours and I'll be like checking the analytics wanting to reply to comments like I just don't switch off um <laughs> it's important to make sure I'm looking after my health and I've been thoroughly enjoying all of these guys Abby is honestly hilarious she just sits here all day and she doesn't even sleep she just sits here and looks around and sticks her nose up in the wind to smell all of the smells around the neighborhood <laughs> it's so cute she doesn't even know that i'm looking at her see there there we go hello look at the wind blowing through her fur so cute that looks really cold and uncomfortable do you want to come inside hmm right i'm gonna quickly give you a skin update because i am exhausted <laughs> And I can't even keep my eyes open right now. Um, and I need to get this vlog uploaded tonight for you guys. But a quick kind of skin update. So I've been experiencing sensitivity since about June. Uh, both my nanas passed and then I just broke out with obviously like stress acne. And I decided to try a um, retinol ester product, um, which is kind of the most gentle version of a retinol. Um, I've never really used retinol before, but it just destroyed my skin barrier. Um, I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna do another video going into the skin barrier and why it's so important to keep it um, strong and healthy. It just annihilated my skin barrier, and it's kind of come. It's kind of taken up until now to accept the fact that I just need to go back to basics for a long time. Like it can take 12 weeks to strengthen your skin barrier again, um, but it seems to be working. I was sort of, I actually a few weeks ago, I went like three weeks without using any kind of active products. Like nothing like, nothing exfoliating, nothing with vitamin C, nothing active. Not even like a hydrating serum. And I just found that I was quite congested. But this time around, it seems to have worked okay. Um, I did have a big breakout the other week. So I'm working on the scarring here. But I still have completely stripped my skincare routine completely back. So in the mornings, this is like every, this goes against everything I <laughs> have always believed in with skincare and I still do um, because, and I wish I could clean my face properly in the morning because I love doing that and my skin, well over the last five years I've been into skincare, really thrived with the morning cleans but I've just been cleansing with water. Um, so just really kind of like slash my face in the morning and sort of pat it half dry. I leave um, most of my face feeling I start applying product because that's kind of, um, it's quite important to make sure you are keeping the moisture in your skin barrier to um, help it to help it recover. Yeah, I'm doing that in the morning and then in the evenings I literally just double cleanse. So I cleanse with an oil rather than a balm because when you're using a balm cleanser, you kind of have to really kind of sort of rub your face more than you really should when your skin barrier is a little bit compromised. So I've been using Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. That seems to have been working all good with my skin. And really the thing that I was noticing is, is it was even I would apply a hydrating product. It's not even an exfoliating skincare product and my skin would just go red. So I knew that something just wasn't quite right. Um, and then my second cleanse. In the evening after taking off makeup and SPF is the Avene Tolerance Cleansing Lotion. This stuff is so gentle and beautiful and I love it. Um, then literally all I am wearing on my face at the moment in the evenings and in the mornings 
is the La Roche-Posay Psychoplast Balm. Now this has been helping my skin so much. The redness has gone down so much. It was so red on this side and on this side. And then I would get like this white ring around my lips where you could see like the, the, the outer side of the white ring was just all red all over my face. Um, this has been helping so much. It's basically a barrier repair cream. It's got all sorts of ingredients in it um, that are just gonna help hydrate and strengthen and nourish and protect um, the skin barrier while it tries to repair itself. Um, your skin's really smart. It knows what it needs when something's not quite right. My skin is looking pretty calm, pretty glowy considering I think it's all the supplements, honestly, and all the water I'm drinking. I'm not even using any specific like hydrating or brightening serums um so it's been quite an interesting exercise i'm desperate to get my routine back i feel so unnatural just cleansing and moisturizing but it seems to be working for the meantime so i'll keep you guys updated i think what i'm gonna do is introduce a new skincare product um like as i go so between now and probably early next year i'll just add serums and stuff very gradually i think i'm not even going to touch an exfoliating acid until next year it makes me so sad because i'm like addicted to skincare i'm addicted to seeing results and trying new products and seeing what happens but um i just need to leave my skin alone for a bit because the retinol really screwed up i'm just getting some of this it's so bright in here um it's very soothing obviously there's like no fragrance nothing bad in it at all see how it's like it's quite thick you really have to rub it in it's a proper barrier repair cream um but yeah see my skin looks pretty calm now and hopefully it will stay that way. I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you were watching this tonight, this has literally been my day today. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.